In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Kronos nodes, the new NFTs that are coming out, as well as my strategy behind this one. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eric here and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day and are doing well. We're taking a look today at Kronos nodes. I haven't made a video on this one for quite some time. They have a new feature coming out regarding their NFTs and we are actually going to be giving away four NFTs. So stay tuned until the end of this video to figure out how to participate in this giveaway. But before I want to just kind of go over my strategy with Kronos nodes, obviously talk about the market conditions and this node project and then show you guys my stats on this one so if we go ahead and actually talk about this chronos node project obviously we know that the entire market has been absolutely brutal and this project here actually launched on may 20th and ever since may 20th well we all know what happened to the crypto market everything went to the bloodbath that we know it is today and basically we see chronos nodes it went from a launch price of about two dollars it went all the way to about $13 and then there was a massive sell-off. This is when Bitcoin basically went from about 45,000 all the way to 17,000. But what we can see is over the last day, so since about June 13th, we've seen this project kind of hover between the $1.80 to the $2.20 mark, which is basically about two weeks of kind of trading sideways and some stability there. So it's interesting to see that maybe if this project had launched in a bull market, we may have seen something completely different. But I also like everything else that they are building. They are bringing this DEX eventually to their ecosystem. And they're also bringing more utility to their Cron token, which is why I am basically compounding my nodes. So if we take a look at my dashboard here, I actually was a part of the whitelist. So I bought $400 worth of Cron and that minted me 10 nodes and I've actually taken my initial investment out. So I've taken about $440 out of this one and we can see now that I've been compounding. So I've compounded about 11 more nodes since I've taken out my initial investment. And like I said, I do believe in the future of this one, especially with the way it works with their automatic reward mechanism. They are basically reducing the rewards on a daily Daily basis and it takes into account the active nodes as well as the price of cron and as we can see here the last payout which was yesterday was about 0.44 cron per node and now the estimated payout with this formula the arm we can see that today we're going to be getting about 0.41 cron for each node so this is why i kind of think it is more sustainable than your basic node project and especially with that dex coming out and the other utilities that they plan on launching. Hopefully we see the market turn around and Cron is one of the better projects in the bull market. But again, nothing I say here is financial advice and who knows what's going to happen down the road. Now, if we move on and we talk about the new NFTs that are gonna be coming out tomorrow, we are talking about some NFTs that are going to give you utility on this project. And this is basically reducing the claiming fees every time you decide to claim your rewards. So there is a minimum tax of 10% every time you want to claim your rewards. So if I hit claim, I would pay 10% on my rewards for claiming them. And then obviously I can do whatever I want with the cron token. But once you claim that percentage actually jumps up to 20% and then you have to wait a few days before it comes back down to 10%. So if we move on to their white paper, here we can see the different tiers of the Nodi the Whale NFT. That's how they call their NFTs. And we have the ultra rare all the way to the common NFT. Now here we see every type of NFT gives you a different discount reward. Obviously the ultra rare is going to be the one that gives you the most discount all the way down to the common one, which gives you 1% discount. Now I'm going to be giving away one uncommon NFT as well as three common NFTs. So as we can see here, depending on whether or not you've claimed or you haven't claimed your rewards, 
based on that period that you have to wait in order to get that min or maximum tax we can see that the ultra rare if you have one you're going to be paying a minimum of five percent tax or a 15 percent tax all the way down to the common where you have a nine percent minimum tax and a 19 percent maximum tax now, if you're asking if you hold more than one NFT, does it actually compound and you can use more than one NFT to lower your taxes? Unfortunately, they do not stack as it says right here. And it's basically going to use the rarest NFT that you have in your wallet. Now, if you're asking where are these funds going to, 70% of the funds that are minted through this NFT are going to go to that universal sustainable growth fund, as well as 15% to the liquidity pool and 15% to company expenses. Now, scrolling down here, there's another cool thing about these NFTs. Here is every time you mint an NFT, you actually have a 0.01% chance of getting a bonus node. So that's kind of cool. But again, it's a very, very small chance. And I wouldn't actually suggest using all of your money to buy these NFTs and to have a chance of winning a node. You could simply just buy one as well. But if you're going to buy an NFT, it is a cool incentive and reward that you have a chance to win a bonus node from minting an NFT that you were going to mint anyways. Now there are 2000 bonus nodes to be rewarded to people who mint those NFTs as well as another incentive which is the treasure trove NFT collection. This is basically five NFTs that are going to be minted throughout this collection. So five lucky winners are going to be winning 25,000 crow. That's going to go straight into your wallet. So again, there's only five. Not too sure if you're going to be a lucky winner, but if you are, you'd be getting at 25,000 crow. And if we take a look at how much that is right now, if you are one of those lucky winners, that's about $3,100. And of course, if the price of crow goes back up to 50 cents, well, we're talking about 12.5K. So scrolling down on this page, we have the ultra rare NFT. There's only 20 of them. And obviously we had that auction over the last few days. And if we take a look at that specific NFT and what it allows you to do, it basically gives you 0.02% discount on crow swap trading fees. That's going to be their DEX launching relatively soon. Then we also have a 1% bonus multiplier on all farms and harbors that allow NFT bonuses. Again, when their crow swap launches, you are going to be able to stake and also use harbors. So you're going to get a 1% bonus if you have that NFT. NFT, and you're also automatically whitelisted for all other projects on CrowSwap private launch pads. So those are the benefits of your top tier, your ultra rare NFT. And they had an auction over the last few days for those NFTs, and they were able to raise 158,000 crow. And taking a look at how much money that is, if we go 158,000, that's about $20,000 that they were able to raise. And of course, that's at a current price of crow of 12 cents. Now, if we take a look at these other NFTs, we have the rare NFT. There's 980 total. There's a 3% off the claiming tax as we looked at in the table before. And once you do mint a rare NFT, there are three jackpot NFTs, which are random drops. Just another way to try and incentivize people to buy these NFTs. And we can see that the min price is a thousand crow. Now, obviously a thousand crow isn't all that much now. It's about a hundred and twenty five dollars and again when this was at 50 cents well a thousand crow was actually five hundred dollars so it's really up to you if you think you are bullish on this project if you think this project has a chance in the next bull run well maybe it's a good time to buy one of these nfts lower your tax rates and see what the future holds for cron now going back to their white paper they also have the uncommon nft there's a total of three thousand and of course it gives you a two percent off your taxes as well
well as there's one jackpot NFT when you decide to mint one of these and the mint price is 800 crow. So I'm going to be giving away one of these and as well as three common ones. And here we see there's a total supply of 6,000 gives you 1% off your claim tax. And this is worth about 600 crow. Now, all of these are going to be eligible to trade on the Kronos nodes marketplace. Again, that's not out yet, but in the near future, I'm sure this is going to come out and people are going to be able to buy and sell their NFTs. So that's basically what's coming out. This is going to be coming out tomorrow. So stay on the lookout for that and the way to actually go get these NFTs. If you go onto the app, the chronosnode.com app, you go onto NFTs. Here you see Mint. It's actually not clickable right now, but tomorrow, once it opens, you'll be able to go and mint the NFT that you may want to buy. So with all that being said, that's my strategy. That's the new thing that's happening with Chronos nodes. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Definitely check out the Discord and the Twitter to get access to the giveaway. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.